Hi, in this video, I'm going to make your life easier by showing you how to properly sign in to a Google Chrome account. This will be useful if your student is signing in on a work computer of yours or a home computer of yours, a personal laptop, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much any computer other than the school issued Chromebook that they have. If they're using their Chromebook, they're good to go as long as they log in with their email pass and password. So now if they're on a different computer, here's the steps you should take to assure everything's going to work well. So first off, you should be using Google Chrome. Whatever your computer you're on, if you don't have it, download Google Chrome. It makes the whole process easier and your students will be using this not only for the rest of this year, but for the foreseeable future. It's the official browser of the school. So that's the first step. Now, once you get Google Chrome and you open it up, you'll see up in the top right corner, you may see an icon or a picture like this. You're going to see something in a circle. Click on it. Okay. Now, by the way, don't click on this one down here. Click on the one that is up here in the toolbar area. Okay. So we'll click on it. So if they've logged in before, you'll see their name here. Okay. But chances are they haven't. So let's click on add. Now we're going to go to add person. Type in Johnny school because Johnny school account. Johnny likes pandas. So we're going to put him as a panda. All right. Not done yet. Next thing is we're going to click on sign in. Now I'm going to sign in with a, um, a fake student account that I have. Make sure you've typed it correctly. The number one error that I see or reason why something doesn't work is because people accidentally uh, type the incorrect password or the incorrect username. Oops, like that. We'll do it again. Once you get the, the username and password entered in, you go next or click on next. Then if this comes up, link data, say yes. Okay, you're not signing your life away or anything like that. It's all, it's all good. <laughs> we'll click link data. All right. That's it. They are now logged in. Let's also turn on sync. Yes. Again, you're not signing your life away. Turn on sync. Okay. What that allows is it allows any extensions or anything that your student needs to be added to this Chrome browser. Okay. So how do you know that your student's in? Again, go up here, click on it. Now you can see. The Debt Lakes email account, it's the correct one. That's how you know. So at this point, students can go to Google Classroom. And it will go right to their account, their Google Classroom, and they can click on their classes that they have. They can go to their Gmail. And it will be their Gmail. They can go to Calendar. And it'll be their calendar. You get the idea. We're having some slow internet issues here. I'm going to close out of this one. Okay, calendar comes. Here it is. Okay. This is how students can access their Chrome account on another computer other than a Chromebook. All right. I hope that helps you guys. Have a great day.